is up YouTube PRD Reviews here with the figure I've been looking to get for a long time. It is the SH Figure Arts Vegeta. You see him looking ever so peaceful in this plastic tomb. Yeah, I wanted this figure for a long time. I don't know why I'm just now getting it. This is my favorite Dragon Ball Z character of all time. Almighty Vegeta. Here's a look at the front of the packaging. We have Bandai, Tamashi Nation's Dragon Ball Z Funimation, ages 15 and up. Some Japanese writing I have no chance of reading. Vegeta on the left hand side and SH Figure Arts. Here's a look at the figure really close in packaging. And this is my first Figure Arts figure. I also picked up another one. I'll be doing that in the next review. But yeah, that's And here we packaging. have the back of the packaging. You're welcome to pause and read up on Vegeta if you like. It says SH Figure Arts, simple style and heroic action. See this pose over here. It's over 9,000. Nice pose right here with the reader on the eye. I am the strongest in the universe. Here he is with his blast. Vegeta. Products may differ from photo, obviously. Some more Japanese writing. Yeah, that's pretty much it for the packaging. I'm really liking some of these poses I see. Let's get on to the figure. Okay, so here we have Vegeta out of the packaging. We can see some of his accessories. He comes with this uh, figure arch stand. Comes with three arms. This was the base, and I had to peg that together with this little clamp. And that holds him up fairly well. And there's also two more spots to make separate holes so you can display the, the blast effects. Here's a look at the accessories in the packaging. He has a set of crossed arms, his tail, battle damage in pain face, yelling face, smirking face, the separate hair so you can put the little, uh, his reader on it, the face that comes in the packaging, pretty standard, I like that one. Figure itself, here's a look, closer look at some of the hands, fully opened, it's like a gripping hand. Here's a power hand. This one's holding something. And here's a look at this blast. So yeah, fairly good amount of accessories. Let's get this guy out and have a closer look at him. Okay, so here we have Vegeta outside of his packaging. And this is a really, really nice figure. Quick 360 head to toe. Really nice. I do, however, have one gripe with this figure, and it's one that I knew about. I was expecting, but uh, yeah, I'll get to that in a second. Let's have a quick look at this guy. The detail they put into this tiny figure is amazing. And when I say tiny, when I get to the size comparison, you'll see how small these guys are. If you're used to the 7-inch scale, yeah, you're going to be a surprise with how small these guys are. But yeah, the detail is there. Look at this guy. Really, really nice. I, okay, before I get too far into the review, I want to shout out where I got the figure from. If you're in the Southern California area, it's in Roseme, California. And they also have a booth at Frankenstein's. It's in the, I think the second aisle towards the far right wall. But yeah, they have all the import figures, so check them out. All right, let's get to my one gripe I have about the figure. Fresh out of the packaging. Look at those leg joints. That is so loose. And when you get to trying to stand him, he just, they pretty much spread out. You need a, a base to hold this guy up. So that's my one gripe. Get that out of the way before the review is the leg joints. Okay, so let's take a look at his articulation. Head can look up about that far, down that far. And tilt left to right just a bit. Rotate back and forth that far. These shoulder plates actually pop off to give you more range in the shoulders. So you can get some really dynamic poses out of these. Bend at the elbow that far. The wrist can fully rotate. Has a slight bend and there's a cut at the top of the bicep. The waist cannot rotate. There's a bit of a crunch but with this tail here it uh, Restricts that. You take the tail off, you can probably get more of a bend out of the leg. I mean, the waist. The legs can kick up that far, but again, they're so loose, it's not going to hold without, you know, 
being clamped or anything. Knees can bend that far. You can kick really high, you can get them doing a really high kick. There's a rotation at the ankle, slight ankle pivot, and there's toe articulation. So yeah, really good articulated figure. We just wish the leg joints were a little tighter. But yeah, that's it for articulation. All right, so Henry is using the base to support him. He's touching the ground. I've switched in his uh, Saiyan tail instead of having it wrapped around the waist. And it does, it does not um, obstruct his uh, ab joint. He just doesn't have one to bend like that. But yeah, switched out the hands. Really easy, just a simple peg. And uh, switched into the smirk face. So yeah, it's another look you can go with. All right, so here we have a cool pose of him doing uh, the blast. I know he doesn't fight with his tail out, but I just, I just think the tail is cool in this figure. I'll probably explain with the tail anyway. I had to borrow the base from my um, my Monster Arts Rodan, but th they're all the same. You see the same pegs and everything, and holds up the second part of the blast. Look at that shadow effect; it looks really nice. But yeah, it's a really nice figure. I just wish the leg joints were better, but with the with the stand, it's not really an issue. I probably wouldn't have had him standing without a stand anyway. But yeah, really nice figure. All right, we have our uh, size comparison. I have him next to a standard seven-inch figure from NECA. This is uh, Isaac Clark from Dead Space. And uh, you see how much smaller he is than him, and he's on this little base raised up a little bit. And here he is next to the Play Arts Kai Ryu. So yeah, he's a pretty small figure, but in scale with the other figure arts and Dragon Ball Z um, figures from that series. So really nice. Uh, definitely recommend him if you're a big fan of Vegeta or Dragon Ball Z in general. I think this is the only uh, normal one they've released. The other one was Super Saiyan. So yeah, this is N3RD Reviews. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check back for more figure reviews. Thanks,